Hello again, listeners, and welcome back to the Koto Classic FBL podcast. I'm your host, Solomon. And as usual, my co-host, Chama, is here with me today. Chama, nakam nak. Oi, man, you back, boy. Nakam. Yeah, back. My cool. <laughs> uh, things, are looking, things are looking good, huh, on the uh, FBL side. 3,000. Wow, this is, this is... Okay, no, no, you were on 500 once, so, yeah, I keep forgetting. <laughs> How have you been, man? Hey, I'm, I'm good. It's been a while since we recorded, like, this. Yeah, it's, the last it's time been we recorded while, yeah. was, the, was the stream, like, right? it's, it's stream this, this, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I miss this time of recording. I think it's more, you know, more, 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 more smooth than the, than the, <laughs> than the stream and things like that. But yeah, yeah. All, 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 all good. I'm good. I'm good. That's uh, good, man. Just, That's good. Yeah. In the heat of things, everything being crazy, FPL being, you know, chaotic and, yeah. you know, there is no information proper information you people, can back on people yeah, are confused people, people are confused, are confused. Like, yeah, I, just, I feel just, the same way. just before we started like uh, i was thinking that i'm all set with my, my my free hit and then jama just told me that oh the, the uh, list double game make has been cancelled they only play one i was like how are we supposed to know this, <laughs> these things yeah, <laughs> i just woke up <laughs> yeah it's too okay anyway, it's, it's too too it's, it's too much you have to be very lucky this, these days you have to be very lucky. yeah you and, have yeah. to be yeah and that, that, but that, but another thing too, you can also create your luck by also having a team, a squad that you have fifteen players available. It's flexible, so, yeah. So very flexible team is very important at this point in time, and yeah. But it's really difficult to manage this season, and mm. uh, it's very hard for a for a manager to get some motivation to keep going and keep going. Mm. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, that's it's true. Difficult. I can yeah. un- I can understand. I know. Um, so we are recording double game week 22. It's not as big as we, we thought it was going to be, but at least it's manageable. So yeah, that's what we are recording uh, as a preview. Double game week 22 preview. So we have a few hours to go before the deadline. So we just want to just give um, discuss the combinations, the teams, and um, what managers need. Uh, maybe the ones that are confused to see if we can help them in this last few hours. So yeah. Yeah. Um, um, let's jump right in and discuss our team review for the uh, game week 21. Yeah. I'm sure we, we are one of the few that had like, uh, um, what's his name again? Uh, Bowen, captain. So that's why we, we the green is all over our screen. Yeah, but <laughs> actually, he had a, like in the top 10K, uh, he had an, mm-hmm. uh, like, uh, what do they call it? Ownership? Effective, effective ownership. ownership. Ownership of more than, more than 150 percent, right? So what? in the top 10K, mostly, most of the managers, they did captain him. They did have him and captain him. Because, yeah, of course, those are managers who are very, you know, like, they are very active in the game. So overall, if you check overall, uh, he was only 20% ownership in the game, 20% or something like that. But, but in the top 10K. you look at the top 10K, that's why it's difficult to break into to, the top to, Yeah, to break and in, once you yeah. Are there, you do, yeah, you have to hang on there. It's very hard to, to <laughs> stay there. Because managers there are very, very, very alert. So they... Yeah, like yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay, so um, take us through your 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 game week for twenty one. Yeah, my team. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's my team here. That was the first one was your team. Yeah, I had eighty seven points. I took a minus four ahead of the game week to bring in a couple of Everton players. Yeah, which I always tell you, Everton players is not a good. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a good place to go. But you know. This is because, a, yes. of, because of my, right. my, 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 my the type of manager I am, when I see points there, I am always greedy for points. So I always want to go for them. I always want to go for the risk. So I went for the couple, like that was the Calvert Lewin and uh, Gray. I People did warn me about Calvert Lewin. Don't sell, uh, what was his name? The Bondi strike, the, the Watford striker, King. Don't sell him for Calvert King, Lewin. Yeah. For a minus four, and then next week Calvin Lewin is not gonna have you want him back, and yeah. King is, you will want King back, yeah. But yeah, I think I just wanted to go for it because Calvin Lewin was a wild card, or because nobody like he was he has not played for a long time, so not every manager was gonna go there. So that was the risk I saw there, and then like there was the opportunity there, and it could have gone good because he had a penalty and then he missed, have, yeah. missed, missed the penalty, skied it. And unfortunately, their second game week, which their second game of the, the double game week was cancelled. So that kind of adds salt to the injury, you know. But all good. I ended the game week with 87 points, despite those like like those bad moments. And yeah, Bowen was the star of my play of my team with the captain. Uh 42 points, like yourself. And Kufal, I think my differential pick was Kufal because Kufal, Kufal was, yeah. 
because yeah most of the managers around me did not have kufal so that was kind of my differential there uh, other than that antonio with nine points was the only good thing son six points jota five points and uh, the rest of my team everyone blanked so but bowen yeah he scored more than half of my points like I got 84 points in the, 83 points in the end because I took a minus four. Bowen scored 42 of that. That is half of the points. Wow. So, so it was huge from Bowen. I did not expect to have a, a, a green arrow after Calvert Lewin and the Everton boys game got cancelled. But yeah, Bowen after his masterclass in the second leg, second game against. Yeah, it was a, it was the right big. call because it was either either Bowen. Most people captain either Bowen or Antonio, oh, so it could go either it could have gone either way. But as we have seen, you know. The gut feeling this week was um was that Bowen was the one that was on form. Yeah. So you can see Antonio has been, you know, getting one goal here and there, but he's not been on form since the beginning of the season. So that is yeah. the difference. I mean, yeah. Definitely. The seven points it's 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 pretty huge for, uh, considering that the game week average was forty six. That's, that's yeah. almost for for forty one points above the average, you know. That's 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 good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Um, that's good. Mm-hmm. Like uh, like yeah. These days I kind of not look at the average. <laughs> I only look at the average. average I mean, it matters. It, yeah, it, it, okay, it, 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 matters. it does matter. It matters, but at the end of the day, uh, you are playing against 8 million players. 4 million mm. of them are not playing anymore. So maybe let's say 50% <laughs> are active. And that 4 million who are not playing are really impacting the average point. Who are not making mm. any transfer, doing nothing. The, the, there are some managers who are taking minus something. All these teams will come together and then they, they look at the average point. So... It's rather mm. you just look at the average around your area or the average. At the oh yeah, area. I think you're right around I around your area. That is yeah, uh, maybe. that should be the target. Yeah. For those of the managers that haven't uh, been privy to this, uh, Life FPL gives you like the average of each, um, let's say, uh, category like 50k, uh, exactly. 10k, 100k. So it's easier to know which uh, area you are, which is you know, makes more sense for you to look at, like um, see how many guys around you are doing. And which players are like making you get a red arrow, and which players are making you go ahead. So it's pretty. Um, yeah, he's a, the guy is a genius, and he's like a legend in the FPL world right now. Absolutely, absolutely, himself, absolutely, so absolutely. Shout out, shout out to him. Yeah. Um, so for my game week, uh, I think for the first time I took a minus eight. This is a very bold move for me because it goes against my rule this season. I mean, this season to try and you know, uh, limit my, my hits. So I got a 86 points all out, mm, you know, yeah, not bad. I think it's one of, one of, it's been a while since I've, I've had this kind of, <laughs> this kind of points also. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, Captain Bowen as usual, but I think my differentials were, um, Broha and, and Saka. Defense, yeah. not so much. It's just the regular standard. Uh, Trent, Cancelo, and Duffy. Duffy has been in my team. I don't know how he even managed <laughs> managed to, <laughs> to be there all this while. But yeah, he's, he's, he's still there. there. Yeah, he's still there. So, Broha was, I was impressed with, uh, even though he went out with an injury. Because for the first time, I actually saw him play. I had him in my team. I never knew who he was. And I, for, I was fortunate enough to just watch him play. I was like, wow, this guy is good. You know, he's a young guy, you know, very bold and um, an active striker. So, yeah. 86 points all out, uh, minus eight. So probably like 78. So, yeah. Um, moving on to the mini league, the Koto Classic mini league. Yeah. Um, so this week, we had the manager of the week, who is Baba, Baba Jadu. Yeah. yeah. Gamology, CF. So Gamology. 90, <laughs> 90, 90, 93, 93 points all out. This is... Yeah, it's 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 top there, but eighty six and ninety six or eighty 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 seven and ninety three is pretty much closer this time around. So yeah. Yeah. So looking at his team, uh, who does it have have in his team? I think the the players are similar with what we have. Like that is like mm-hmm. let's say, Bowen, Antonio, Jota, Ronaldo, Kufal. Uh, yeah, all those players are similar. The the other where he has the difference was Laporte. I think six. the defense, yeah. Dyer yeah, with Dyer six, with six and, uh, yeah. Bernardo Silva with five. But otherwise, the team was very similar. And uh, yeah, I think Bowen was the master this week. And West Bowen, Ham, Bowen right? was the guy. Bowen was the guy. Yeah. West Ham, yeah. So West Ham players. Guy. If you get the three nailed, like Bowen, Kufal, 
I know Antonio. What, yeah. what, what was his name? Yeah, Antonio. But like, what is his name? Lazin. He had a very good first game week when he when he scored fifteen points. Scored the two like, penalties. Scored couple, yeah. Scored the coup, two, one penalty and one exceptional one penalty. goal. Yeah, he scored one. Oh, okay. He always does the exceptional goals. It's one like a standard thing. Goal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a great goal. One of the best goals I saw that week, to be honest. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah so congrats. Uh, yeah, Baba Jaju. Uh, on being the manager of the week for game week twenty one. And looking at our top five for the first time, wow! In the Koto Classic uh, mini league, we have uh, a new entry. This is Aladi Job, Dream Boy United. Maybe he's been there before. I'm not really sure. But the top four is unchanged. Yeah. <laughs> in fourth, Thomas Bright is uh, third. Ahmed Tijan uh, in second, Jibril Fall, and then yourself, Sidin for still opening up the lead slightly. <laughs> over there so this is the part of the season the second half of the season so things are you know things are, this year is very important right now to have this lead because we know the second half of the season can be a different story altogether so absolutely, yeah absolutely absolutely mm. it can be different oh, with COVID, it can be you know yeah now i think i think you are right now is the time that money is either stick or lose their interest you know the ones that are not really like fpl money guys because the like the newbies or the casuals like you call them yeah. This is the time that they say, you know what, I don't have time for this. There's too much yeah, going on right now. I can't keep up. This is not a game. I'll come back. Just... <laughs> I'll come back next season. <laughs> especially with COVID. Yeah. Especially when you just look at your team and you see only five players playing. When you have yeah, already yeah. planned to buy some Me, few players. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's difficult to find motivation to play. Uh, But mm. yeah, I just I would just say hang in there. But if you don't want to play anymore, I understand 100%. And you can just you yeah, know, it's... take a sidestep for a while and then is, you can come back crazy. later. No worries. It's just a game at the end of the day. It's just a game. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's talk about some stats so that they can help us maybe make, make it a bit easier for us. This is the double game week 22. Can you yeah. share some stats, Jama? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have some stats to share. Um, first, let's, let's look at the team statistics. Uh, and this is stats based on uh, XG and expected goals considered for example on the left we have the team attack and on the right we have the team defense and uh, it's sorted by xg for attack and xg considered for defense mm. uh, if you look at the left side over the course of the season uh attack wise liverpool is still on top with 2.5 they are averaging this is starts per 90 minutes they are averaging 2.5 xg per 90 while man city are number two with 2.4 which is very close so man city and liverpool are pretty at the top together man city have come a long way in the last four five six game weeks they have mm. really come and then they have really caught up with liverpool when it comes to attack i can remember at the start of the season liverpool was completely outright outright at the top when it comes to attack but now man city have closed that gap chelsea they are number three with 2.0 xg created uh per 90. west ham number four with 1.7 so the west ham boys are looking really pretty pretty good and they are very cheap if you look at it compared to the team players the teams they like like the Liverpool and the Chelsea. Uh, Tottenham are climbing up that rank too. Now they are fifth. Arsenal six. Man United have dropped to number seven. Uh, if you look at the underlying in terms of Delta XG, which is the uh, difference between the goals and XG, what was expected to score minus the goals, which is kind of overperformance and underperformance. For example, if you see green, uh, it means the team is, 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 is overperforming. And if you see red, the team is underperforming. So sometimes you want to look at these teams that are underperforming and maybe pick a thing or two there. Uh, the team that underperformed the most on average are Wolves and Norwich. Wolves have not created a lot. But then you look at Norwich, they are the worst team when it comes to XG. They are also the worst underperformers. So that's not the place you want to go. But in the top half, you can see Tottenham minus 0.3 per game they are underperforming so since Antonio Conte came in Kane has come back to life and that this underperformance is mainly due to Kane but with, with Conte now in the team Kane has come to life and he has started scoring goals which we know he can be a confident player when he starts scoring a lot of goals so yeah uh, let me look at the defensive statistics over the course of the season uh, Man City uh, oh Tottenham Tottenham is number one yeah surprising so, Surprisingly, I, yeah. I, 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 I doubt it. I doubt this one. Maybe I made a mistake there, but I have to cross check again. So you think Man City is still I, number I, one? I, I still think Manchester City should be are supposed to be number one. So I will just ignore this one, and then we look at the last six game weeks to see the form 
form exactly this is the correct okay. one that was last six games uh this oh, okay here. it's last it's yeah, supposed it's to be last over. six games it's not for the overall yeah so looking at the data now here just the last six games the team played uh of course we know the teams have not played equal number of games and there are some games which some teams don't play but what i did here was i took the last six games the team itself played so if okay. Katina did not play in game week uh 21 for example maybe they played in game week 14 so that game week 14 will be added to make the last six games that they play so each team played six games the last six games they were involved in that is this data is showing here and you look at the attacking statistics man city attack like i say they have uh come a long way since that period they are now at the top with, with in the last six games with 2.7 xg per 90 and uh, they are averaging like they are overperforming by 0 0.8 so they are not just over like the best team when it comes to underlying numbers attack wise but they are also overperforming than anybody else which is a nice thing to, to have which liverpool was doing at the start of the season now Manchester city are doing similar things but of course they don't have a double game week so that's why we are kind of ignoring them a bit but <laughs> it might be a wrong idea yeah Tottenham, after after this we're gonna jump back right in to them. yeah and, and so. you look at tottenham since the last six game weeks they are the best the second best team with 2.4 Liverpool are third with 2.3. Liverpool have dropped. And Liverpool have turned to be the the most underperforming team in this period, which kind of coincided with Salah missing penalty and things like that. Mm. So I can understand why. And then we look at the defensive statistics. Tottenham are also on top for the last six game weeks. So Tottenham are number one for, uh, for, at for defense and number two for attack when it comes to underlying statistics in the last six game weeks, which is insane and you will know what's the impact the impact is antonio conte he came in yeah. the last seven game weeks or so changed everything so we, can yeah. already, we can already see his impact in the team and in terms of defense the team that is overperforming the most which is wolf uh they are a very good defensive team but they are kind of overperforming um i don't know what to get in that uh but the underperformers are no which no i feel sorry for them they are really underperforming this season in terms of defense and attack uh and it looks like they're gonna go down this looks like they're gonna go down um yeah again they go down again because they were there yeah. i think uh, two seasons ago and um i was hoping that you know they will learn a few lessons you know from them i think they have tried, tried to change a few things because players we had then and now are different but still it's like man i don't know it's just unfortunate but yeah it's unfortunate for them right you are right and they are at the bottom there they are uh they are 14 in, in defensive start but yeah like, not bottom, yeah 14 yeah. Yeah, at least yeah. But in the attack, they're, they're still the bottom. They've been yeah, the top, yeah, the, in the bottom three are, for the, like almost the, the whole season. <laughs> yeah, they play Everton this week. I'm sure they will score because Everton is that team that will give the any, defense any, is any, this. Any, yeah, any. it's it's just terrible. Yeah, let's look at the players. Yeah. The, the players, which is the more important one for FPL managers. The team mm -hmm. basically, for me, I I use it basically to decide, especially when it comes to defensive numbers and, and things like that. I use it to determine which teams to target based on the, that but when it comes to attack and things you want to focus on the teams on the players itself so looking at the players for the top 20 players in fpl in terms of expected points this season and uh, on the right is the last five game weeks in terms of expected points as well so expected points basically uh is the point like when you combine the xg the xa the expected clean sheet and all those ex ex expected data and then there is a calculation to calculate the expected point based on how fpl points are calculated so basically that's how they calculate calculate this expected point so looking at the expected points at the top for the overall season salah we don't have to think about Salah right now money we don't have to think about him right now even though he has been underperforming so after that you have jota and son son too we don't have to think about because he's he's unavailable so jota ronaldo let's say cancelo they are the top three players who are available for fpl managers at this point in time so i think jota is in most teams and uh many managers are, are, are scrambling to get ronaldo in i think he's the best captain pick for this for this particular game week and you can see united have not been doing really well but Ronaldo himself, he's still, he, yeah, he's still giving amongst you, the stats. Yeah. He's still among the stats. Of course, he's not giving you Ronaldo level of performance, like the Ronaldo mm -hmm. we know before, but he's still giving a respectable performance in terms of the I, I would go on and say, even say that without Ronaldo, I think Manu would have probably been down the table, further way, way down the table. Uh, but because of him, because some of the goals he scores are like, you want out of nothing. 
So exactly. yeah. Exactly. So we have Manchester. City. You see, the table is dominated. Apart from Ronaldo, apart from Ronaldo, the table is dominated by the single game week players: Salah, Mane, Jota. Uh, Son mm-hmm. is injured. We cannot. He's a double game week, but he's not available. Cancelo single game week. Sterling single game week. Trent single game week. Antonio single game week. Bowen single game week. So the second player after Ronaldo is Kane. Kane is number 11 on the table. So the double game week has, of course, we will talk about the double game week. They are not really doing it in the start, start section. It's all, I think on this table, and then you have King. So there are only four players. Mount, King, Kane, and Ronaldo are the only four double game week players who are, who are on this table. All the rest are only having a single game week. And people are scrambling on the double game with players. It's a funny <laughs> one. It's a difficult one, but you never know. But let's look at the, the, the last five game weeks. You have Son at the top, injured, Stalin, Salah, Mares, not unavailable, Lacazette, single game week, Kane. Kane is coming up. Now Kane is number six in the last six game weeks. And then the Ronaldo we are talking about, he's not even in the top. He's not even in the top 20. Top. He's not mm-hmm. even in the top 20 when you consider in the last five game weeks. So it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. But then we have to go by by, by, by this. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult it's, it's a difficult it's, one, right? I mean, it's it, it's it's difficult. We already spoke about this the last the last part that we said that like um, we were expecting a much bigger double game week fixture, yeah. but uh, apparently we got half, and even the half the teams that we did we didn't we don't want to have the double game week are the ones that have double game week. We know where the the like you said the top players are. The top most of the top players have single game weeks. You know, yeah. so for people like me, I think we'll talk about this later on. But the, the free hit, I'm just like, you know what, just take a chance and bring out the best one and try to maximize the free hit chip. But I think if you if you don't have the free hit chip, you can you can maneuver this game week pretty well. You know, yeah, if I things see. like uh, go according to plan, like according to stats and everything, it should be like a very normal game week. With one or two or three players, if you have in your team like Ronaldo King, you should be fine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I, I think I should have just prepared a data focusing on only the double game with players. Double because game. It's, if you look at this, it's, it's kind of depressing, right? You, it's kind of <laughs> because who do you pick? Because you wanna sometimes you wanna look at the numbers and then see your players. Yeah, whether well, your picks are. And back even if you look at the stats. form wise, they are not scoring goals as well. Mm-hmm. And you look at the underlying numbers, they are not there. So who do you go with? So. That's why this week is very difficult to advise somebody to pick a player. Yeah. Rather than okay, just go with your gut feeling. This week is really, <laughs> is really the week where it can, it, it can, it can, it can be. It happened last, last, last season, right? It can be that when a double game week, uh, and then out of the blue, a team just does well because it's two game weeks, right? You know, and you have one of those outliers that do very well, like Trossard for me last, last season. You know, yeah. but if it, if it's according to stats and like a pick that you know is is. It's logical. I don't think we have much of those in this game week, to be honest. We don't have you know? any. Eh? This week yeah. is, for the, is for the rogue managers then. They, for the yeah. like me. <laughs> yeah, just 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 go and enjoy yourself and then bring in any player. Don't don't stress yourself and then just yeah, yeah. chill. Just go with the flow, yeah. Just go with the um, flow. Okay. Exactly. So we'll talk about the uh, fixture now. So just jump into the double game week fixture that we, we are talking about so much. So let's confirm the fixtures that we have for like, double game week 22. These are the fixtures, <clears throat> and then yeah, I have that's to X, fixture. I have to X that one, the <laughs> Leicester, the Leicester, which is Leicester which, which has just been confirmed. You know? Leicester versus it's, Burnley is, is off. Leicester versus Burnley. Yeah. Is off. So um, that is it. We the double game big fixture. Hold on a second. Uh, we have Manchester against Aston Villa and Brentford. Uh, Tottenham against Arsenal and Leicester. Uh-huh. Leicester, it's been what? It's been postponed. So they only play Tottenham now. Yeah, let me just bring this. Yeah, this this one, huh? Yeah, exactly. That was the one I was going to look at. Yeah, and then you have Brentford against Liverpool and Manchester United, and then Watford against Newcastle and Burnley, and then Burnley against Leicester and Watford, and Chelsea against Manchester. No, Burnley Brighton. against Watford. <laughs> Remove the Leicester one. <laughs> Burnley, oh, I forget. Uh, yeah, Burnley yeah. against. Ah, I see. Uh, anyways, but these things, I don't think they make. Uh, and then finally, Brighton against Crystal Palace. Paris and Chelsea, and then you have the single game week. To to pick the single the single ones, the really good fixtures is Liverpool against Brentford, yeah. according to my own perspective. Yeah. West Ham against Leeds, okay. Everton versus Norwich. Those are the top fixtures that you would like to consider. Maybe having one or two players in there. Definitely. 
But if you look at this, apart from Manchester United, um, probably maybe Chelsea. You know, you never know. Maybe Chelsea. I think um, the rest is just just a gamble, to be honest. Uh, and even Manchester United right now with our form, I don't think we might you know make use of this double. But you never know. You just, like you said, it's better to put yourself in in positions to be lucky. <laughs> you know, that's what FPL is all about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 what you can do. So I'm playing my free hit chip. So when we come to my transfers, I will discuss, you know, some of the my thinking behind picking those players. But basically, it's just trying to maximize players that I know for a fact won't be in my team in 23. Yeah. I don't want to go with the same players and just change one or two. It doesn't make any sense. It's wasting the chip. I might as well don't play it. That's yeah. why I went with different players altogether. Yeah. yeah. So but that's the um, fixture for game week 22. And we'll just uh be a segue to talk about this since we are already here the this is ben kerlin's spreadsheet so shout out to ben yes. lord ben himself um so after 22 we have a possible blank game week 23 that's uh, sorry 24 you can yeah. see the reds here for those of those that are listening the the, the that, big red is that was a definite, definite black definite blank yeah, Chelsea yeah, will be so off to the to the uh, club world to the uh, international yeah the club yeah. world cup. So they missed twenty four and twenty five. So yeah. that's a red for them. And yeah. Brighton, obviously, I don't think many people have Brighton players. They Brighton also is. have a, a red a red in twenty four. Yeah. And so and as Arsenal, yeah. So we do, I think it hasn't been confirmed which team they play yet. And then in twenty seven we have a bigger blank, which is Tottenham against uh, hasn't been decided yet. Yeah, uh, Tottenham think... Leeds, uh, Leicester, mm-hmm. Chelsea. That is because uh, of the League Cup final, because of uh, Arsenal mm-hmm. or Liverpool. Somebody will play in the League Cup final. And um, Chelsea will be the other team. So Chelsea, whoever they were supposed to play on 27, will not be available to play that game. Mm-hmm. So that will be a blank for Chelsea. And uh, they were supposed to play Leicester. So it means Leicester are supposed to blank on that game week. Chelsea yeah, so the teams are supposed to, yeah, that are blank is Tottenham, Leicester. Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal. So the top boys and then Leeds. <laughs> so yeah, and also, it's, 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 it's worth mentioning to like Tottenham. Mm. Their blank can be cancelled now because they are out of the finals because Chelsea eliminated them. This table was made before the league. Or before the. That's why oh, you okay, have the question okay. mark there from Ben Kerlin to tell you that it's a possible yeah. blank for them. And Leeds too. Also, is it the same thing with them? Uh, or well, is it a definite blank? Uh, the bottom. Tottenham, yeah, Tottenham and Leeds, yeah, Tottenham and Leeds, that game should go ahead now. So there's no problem, unless COVID, <laughs> you know, come and impact okay. it. But otherwise, okay. the game, game, game will start. So it's not as big a blank, yeah, as we thought. Was. But yeah. So just, okay. just four teams, yeah. Just four teams are going to blank. Now, Arsenal and Liverpool, uh, regardless of who play in the final, because they, were, mm-hmm. they are supposed to play on that particular game week. So that game week will be a, a blank. And then Chelsea and uh, whoever they were supposed to play, which is Leicester. So four teams are going to blank in that game week. Okay. And what about uh, game week 30? Uh, are yeah. you happy confirmed? No, that one, blank? Is, that, one is, that one you cannot confirm it now. Ben cannot confirm it because okay. it's going to be the FA Cup. The FA Cup, whatever happens until that period, if teams are still in the FA Cup by then, they are going to mm. have a blank. So it depends on who gets eliminated. So that's why he cannot predict that one. But he knows there's going to be a blank because that's where the FA Cup okay. If it got false. Okay. Yeah, so that's the spreadsheet discussion for the next, I think, few game weeks. Um, we just go to our teams for 22, the big yeah, confusion. But, yeah, let me, let, oh, me yeah. Just keep, let me just mention one thing or two. Yeah, uh, like 22, you can see yellow. Uh, 23, you can see a, a possible double game week. 24, 25, they probably nothing, like just a blank. And uh, 26, there is another double possible. 27 there is a blank, 28 there is a double. So every other week until game week 30, except no, every game week from 20, 22 to 30, every week there is gonna be a double or a blank. It's possible that there is a double or a blank. Not just double game weeks, because of course we, we are more excited about the double game weeks. Mm. But the blank game weeks we need to manage them as well. Uh so yeah, we have to take note of that. So those those possible double game mix, is it going to be a, as big of a double game mix as in 22 or just one or two teams having... Just, just, uh, just, just, they're going to be a, a, a small a small double. It's possible there is not going to be a double, but there, there, there is a slot to, to, to play a fixture there. And uh, because of the TV agreement with the Champions League now, Europe, 
so teams can play in the Champions League week and things like that. So it means those fi- weekends, those midweeks can have a fixture. So it's possible, but unless they are forced, I don't. I well, it's it's possible. Just follow Ben Kennedy. He said it's possible. Let let's see. It's possible. <laughs> So this is going to be a minefield to to try to maneuver, but yeah, I think it's right now, uh, from now on, it's best to keep your your ears to the ground and see if there's any changes. Because if you if you plan, if you get the information early and you plan accordingly, you might get all of these double, possible double game week players. You never know. Even if it's one, it it helps a lot to boost your 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 points. Yeah. But that is the thing. That is where that's the the let's say the manage, managerial tactic is going to come in like you know this is where we see the, the separate the men from the boys um <laughs> <laughs> how, how to get to maximize this possible double game mix <laughs> but yeah um okay so moving on to the much anticipated i think uh confusion team for 22 so let's start with Shuchama. um what is your your latest draft what does it look like yeah, there is nothing done in my team, and it's deadline in two hours, three hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think nothing. in probably like almost two hours now. There is nothing done in my team. I, I my my bench is not even right because Trent is on my bench, <laughs> which he will come in back. He will come back in. So let's see Trent come back in for some. Uh, yeah, my team looks like this. They're here in goal. Cancelo, I'm gonna start him against Chelsea. Lamptey, double game week. Uh, definitely gonna start. Kufal against Leeds. I like that one. And uh, Gray Norwich. Jota, like you say, those three single game weekers, which is Everton, uh, West Ham, and, and and Liverpool, I have two players at least. I have seven players actually in those three fixtures. And I intend to start all of them. So it means I'm going to start seven single game weekers and then mix it up with Ronaldo, the double game weaker against Aston Villa, and uh, Brentford, captain, and Antonio, no, and, and uh, what's his name? Uh yeah, I have son, which I intend to move to Bruno Fernandez. That's the only move I intend to do actually. And okay. yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with four double game weakers. That is De Gea, Lamti, Bruno Fernandez if he comes in and Ronaldo. That's my intention. Okay. Uh, that's 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 I think those are the top players to own this week anyway. So I mean, yeah, Lamti, you, you would say there are other options, but yeah, I think if you are trying to maneuver with like uh, free hits, maybe that's that's a good choice. Ronaldo is a is a, is a must have this week, to yeah. be honest. So, yeah. um, for me, my latest draft, I'm already changing. For some reason, I wake up and then I see I have news that <laughs> games have been called off. <laughs> so, I'm trying to maneuver as much as possible. I'm playing my free hit chip. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I have two. I'm you know I'm I'm rich now <laughs> with two, <laughs> playing one. So in goal, I have, uh, I'm playing at 3-4-3, which is my best formation. De Gea, a double game week. Uh, Emerson Royal, double game week. Kufal, single. Um, Alonso, which double. Uh, then uh, I can't bench my man Bowen. You know, it's, it's very scary to not own him right now. <laughs> so he plays. <laughs> Lucas Mora is a punt for this week because Son is out. Possibly, I've heard some rumors that he might be playing up top with Son, so that we might be interesting. With Kane. Yeah. with Kane, sorry, I said Son. With Kane, so yeah. Bruno Fernandes is in, because uh, I've been hearing the rumors, and Chama has inspired me to bring one of my own you know, players in, because <laughs> I don't have confidence in them this, this season. So, Trossard is a late replacement for Madison, so he's there. Maybe it's just nostalgia, because uh, he actually did well for me last, last double game week, so we'll see, uh, last season. And then Dennis is back, my boy. He's now fit and ready to go up, up top. And then I have Kane and then also Ronaldo. So, yeah, the, these are my, my players. And in the bench, I have Sisoho, Sisoho which, uh, of Watford, who also has a double. I have Lamptey and I have my man Duffy, who is still in my team for some reason. So, yeah, that is what I'm going with right now for my double game. Yes, Do you have yeah. any comments? Yeah, I think uh, Lamptey. Over Kufal, mm. Mm. well, because I'm an I'm I'm not a, I'm an opportunistic person, so I would rather play Lamte over Kufal because of the double mm. and Kufal with the single. I think that's mm, the only okay. thing. And yeah, yeah, and I like the Lamte one. I like the Lamte one. I think the one of the Brentford defenders. They are one of the better defensive teams in the league. Yeah. Actually, I think yeah. they have a better defense than West Ham. Of course, West Ham have a better mm. attack. Mm-hmm. And then we seen West Ham playing Leeds. I don't trust West Ham defense chiefly. 
Last game they played Norwich, which is the worst defensive team in the league. W- worst attacking team in the league, sorry. So that's so I expected them to keep a clean sheet. I think that's why I brought in, in Kufas. But against Leeds, they are a very good attacking team. We all yeah, know they're they very are, good attacking they, team. They are yeah. bad defensive and things like that. And Lamptey has a double game week. And yeah, Lamptey is a threat. I uh, they play Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea have Alonso on le- at the left back. I think the last time they played Chelsea, Rhys James played at left back just to nullify Lamptey's pace. So now mm-hmm. that they don't have Rhys James, they don't have all these players. Lamptey can still cause trouble against Chelsea. Mm-hmm. And uh, he plays Crystal Palace next. Yeah, that's which is, some good points. Which, point, which, yeah. which, which, which is a good fixture. So yeah, I will go Lamptey. But also, if 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 you don't want to go Lamptey too, I think. I mean, uh, it's it's this is this is the reason why we discuss things like this because I didn't even you know know all this information. <laughs> I hardly watch games this day, so as much information I can get, that's what I'm going to use. So yeah, yeah. that's a Cuga- good call. Cucarella too is there for 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 Brian. Cucarella, but he's a bit he's slightly bit expensive. It's like five 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 million now. So yeah, he's more expensive. Or something. He's like, more expensive than Lamptey, but uh, according to like a lot of. Like podcast, I, I I kind of listen to or from Twitter noise, they are telling you that he's a very good player who gets the bonus points whenever they keep the clean sheet. He's I don't usually check this kind of mm. things, but he's usually on nine points when they get a clean sheet because of he's a mm. bonus point magnet kind of. So you can go to him because you have, for example, you have Ramsdale. I have the, I have the funds. Yeah, you have Ramsdale have the on your bench, which you don't need. I think you kind of. I even have the funds actually. I have the funds. I have one point three million left. So. <laughs> So yeah, you, you can, can definitely be in my team. So, so you can expect then, yeah. you need, then you don't need Duffy, something like that. I yeah, I don't need Duffy. No, I don't need Duffy. Yeah. So if you have that money, yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, a, that's, that's a that's a that's a free hit, right? So you don't need. I to need to maximize. Yeah, I'm 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 trying to maximize as, as much as possible. So uh, that was a good call. Let me just do it right now. <laughs> There's no no time. <laughs> need to get this uh done. So yeah, um. Anything you want to say, Chama? Because I think that's the end of the the pod. Today, you guys want to make it quick and get it out there in time yeah, for managers to exactly, exactly, make exactly, use of exactly, the information we just shared exactly. there. This pod. Yeah, it has been a lot of confusion in the game. I think a lot of chaotic things, you know. But yeah, let's just keep going, and uh, hopefully, season will get you know back on track to some sort of normality. I I'm sure we're not gonna have normal season again. Because mm. look at the number of double games and the single, like, we are in game week 22. We are expecting up to game week 30. There's going to be a single double, single double mixed up. So it's not going to be a normal. So, but I think if we take it, if we see it as an opportunity, uh, we can make a lot of game gains during this period as a manager. But if you take it like, uh, ah, this game is too, it's too, <laughs> uh, this game is too much, blah, 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 blah. I think you're not going you just if you mourn, kind of, you you're gonna mm. it. Because at the end of the day, it affects every single manager. So if you manage yourself if right, you can if yeah, if you can yeah, then yeah. you can take make advantage. Those. You can yeah. take a lot of advantage. That's, that's the most thing. That's the most important thing is making gains where people are having difficulties. So if that's the game make average is for me, that's how I think is if the game make average is very low and you happen to have a very high one, that's you know, that's a boost for you, you know. Yeah, you move. Move. It's it's cumulative. So yeah. Okay, so there we have it, guys. Uh, probably the end of the pod. We just wish everybody has a very good game, make, even though it's difficult to make those decisions right now. But uh, yeah. just keep on trucking or keep on keeping on. <laughs> you know, we'll get to the yeah. end very keep soon. Going, so, guys. Yeah. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then uh, catch you guys on the next one.